everyone, and welcome back to DMG. It's a cold, rainy day, perfect for staying inside and working on hard drives. Today's subject of terrorism is this WD Caviar SE 800JD. Now this is a 2008 model, it's a slightly later revision of these Caviar drives and uh, it has a crap ton of reallocated sectors. I think it's 166, a uh, bunch of pending sectors, a bunch of bad sectors, and uh, quite a lot of read errors. So it's kind of on the way out. This is a drive that I uh, took out of an old Optiplex that um, someone had asked me to replace with an SSD, and I kept the old drive, and it's not in very good shape. So. It's been a while since we've done something really goofy with a hard drive, so I figured let's make another clear one because uh, that was really fun the first time. Now, of course, reminder, don't try this unless you've got a drive like this that is almost dead already because uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to ruin the drive within you know, a few days. This, these don't last too long. The first one I built is somehow still going, but again, it's probably not the best of ideas. Had to move the camera a little bit so, um, so I could see the drive easier. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nice. Uh, I peeled off the metal piece on the top. It had another little aluminum piece, and I peeled it off to get to the this screw here. And uh, it was held on with some very sticky glue. So basically what I'm going to do is get the drive pretty much all the way disassembled, and then try and slide in this plastic sheet when I lift the lid a minuscule amount. I did a successful test and repair of a WD-1200, which was same drive mechanism, but uh, 120 gigabytes. I did a successful test of one of those, and it was open for a few seconds, and uh, it didn't break. So uh, I'm probably going to get a few more bad sectors from doing this. Now, I don't think that screw is fully needed to secure the head, but I'm still going to, you know, punch a little hole in the plastic and do that. Because usually including all of the original features of the drive is a little more successful. It's opened. We've got our screwdriver inside. Oh god! Oh no! That's not what I wanted to do. I did not want to uh, take it apart that fast, but that just popped off. Okay, so now the drive is open. I'm in a relatively clean room, uh, with a space between clean and room, and this is not an official clean room, but <laughs> that should not have caused too much of an issue, because I don't think anything actually scraped the platter. Why is that stuff so impossible to cut? Alright, so I'm going to try and get as much dust off this plastic as possible, like the side that faces the drive. And then, whoops, that's exposed platter. Okay, I want it a little further down. So I'll kind of just like scoot it. Oh, hello, filter. We don't need you. There we go. So for the side with the SATA connectors, because I want to, of course, be able to use the connectors, I'll cut a strip this way. If I can. There we go. And finally, to screw the head down. I'll make a little hole in the plastic. 
and then use one of these screws. I think they're all the same. Now you don't want to screw it down too tightly, but it does need to be screwed down enough. So usually I screw it down all the way and then back it out a tiny bit. I don't expect this to work, but here it goes. Well, looks like it successfully did a little scan. It's recognized. It's hard to see, but it says that there's a WD disc. This thing is so loud with just the plastic cover. Again, the, the covers are metal for a reason because it suppresses a lot of the noise these things make. Oh, here we go. We're booting into Windows XP. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to create a uh, an NTFS partition. This thing is so damn loud. Sorry, there's no way to get both the hard drive and the monitor in the same shot, but uh, here it is. It's going to initialize. Well, that's dark. And it's showing up as 74.5 gigs unallocated. I'm going to create a uh, NTFS partition. that has the like whole disk size. I'm going to do a quick format, not a full format. And it's gloriously loud. It says the disk is healthy. We're going to open up Hardware Info 64, sorry, Hardware Info 32. Same thing though. And uh, we're going to check the drive's stats. Our reallocated sectors didn't go up. Uh, neither did our uh, uncorrectable or pending sectors. So opening up that drive uh, and dropping the lid on it and then putting duct tape and clear plastic on top of it did not affect it in the slightest. Uh, 76 read errors. Uh, not that many start and stops. So this probably was run 24-7 and uh, seven years of power on hours. And uh, here it is. I'm going to try copying a video to it. Now I'm going to open the video. Oh hey, it's playing. And uh, to prove this is real, in this media list here, it's listed as drive D that it's opening the file from. And uh, this is drive D, the clear one that we've made. 